Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Dan selamat pagi uh, Today we are going to learn about lines and angles uh, But in this video we are going to focus on uh, Recognize, explain and draw parallel lines But over here you are not going to draw the parallel lines But uh, more on try to understand what are parallel lines and transversal lines Along the way, I will also uh, explain a little bit on the perpendicular line. All right. Uh, this is a room. So in this room, we can see that, let's say we have point A until point B. So we can, have, you can see a straight line there. And also point C and point D joining by a straight line we can say that line AB and line CD, they are parallel. And parallel lines can be denoted with this, uh, this symbol. Two, two straight lines like this. What else can you see? Okay, we can also see line PQ or RS. Yeah, line PQ and line RS, they are parallel. And also, at the window there, we can see uh, the beam TU or the line TU. So, we can also write or we can also say that PQ is parallel to TU. Can you state, uh, can you see any other parallel lines there in, in this room? Alright, so RS is parallel to TU as well. What about this? JK, uh, line JK and line LM, they are also parallel to each other. And also, NO, okay. So JK is also parallel to NO. We can also say that LM is parallel to, yeah, LM is parallel to and O. I'm sure you can see uh, other lines like these two at the ceiling here and at the floor here. These are also uh, parallel to each other. Okay. Now let us move on to another place. Are you familiar with this? It's a playground. So which are the objects that are parallel to each other? Okay, the pillars there. So these are all parallel lines. Okay, which else that we can see they are parallel to each other? Okay, all right. So this part of the uh, the toy or the playground. Ah, so are you familiar with this? This is like your classroom, right? It's a classroom. So I'm sure there are a lot of things which are par uh, a lot of lines or a lot of straight lines or straight sides which are parallel like this uh, whiteboard, this uh, monitor, they have parallel lines. So on the left hand side of the, the frame is parallel to on the right side of the, the frame. Yeah, you can look around you in your house. You can find there are a lot of uh, parallel sides. All right, let's move on. What are the criteria of parallel lines? Okay. Okay, first of all, the first criteria is the lines that uh, we consider as parallel is when they, they never intersect each other. If we draw the lines like this one, if we draw the parallel lines, one of the criteria is that they will never, never intersect each other. All right. When these two lines did not intersect each other, if we draw or prolong the lines forever. Okay, let's look at another one. Another example. What about these two lines? Now these two lines, red and blue, if you notice, we have a point where the lines intersect each other. 
So when this happens, this uh, two lines is considered as not parallel. They are not parallel because they have one point of intersection. Okay, remember this, uh, the criteria of parallel line, the line will never intersect. The second uh, criteria is the perpendicular distance is always the same. What is perpendicular distance? Okay, let's say, let's see this on top here. Here. Okay, these two lines are uh, considered as perpendicular when the perpendicular distance at all points along the line, uh, yeah, the, the perpendicular distance is the same. Okay, so this is the distance this is perpendicular perpendicular means uh, this when we join these two the red lines two red lines with this uh, blue line this blue line must be perpendicular or we call it in bahasa uh, berserenjang which uh, form a 90 degrees over here dia akan membentuk a right angle ataupun sudut tepat di sini and also over here. So this is called perpendicular distance. Okay. Okay. So let's see this uh, some animation. Okay. You notice that the distance of AB is always 3.28 just now. So if we move this line, so these two lines are perpendicular, uh, sorry, parallel. So, if you move along the line, the distance is always 2.25. It doesn't change. So, the distance is always the same. Therefore, that, that's the meaning of uh, perpendicular distance is always the same, uh, which is one of the criteria of uh, parallel lines. Okay, only two main criteria of parallel lines. How to denote parallel lines? In the diagram, we can denote or we can write uh, or show parallel lines with uh, arrow like that. Okay, if we have, uh, for example, this kind of diagram. Okay, notice that these two lines, they are parallel and denoted with uh, one arrow. Okay, next. Okay, observe these two lines, the horizontal lines. These two horizontal lines, they are parallel and uh, denoted with two arrows. Okay. And then another set of parallel lines are these. Okay, the vertical lines. These, they are denoted with three uh, arrows. Okay. So different lines we denote with either uh, one arrow or two arrows or different number of arrows. Okay. We can also uh, identify parallel lines when uh, it's stated in the question, such as this. Okay, for example, in question one, it says in diagram one, PQ is parallel to RS. Find the value of blah, blah, blah. So, it's stated in the question mentioning that PQ is parallel to RS. Otherwise, if it's not stated in the question, you cannot assume the lines are parallel. It can be given like this. Given that KL is parallel to TU, determine blah, blah, blah. This is another question. Uh, given that JK is parallel to PR, Notice that the parallel is not written in word, but denoted with a symbol like this. JK is parallel to PR. It means parallel. Not equals, yeah? it's parallel. Equals means something else. Equals means the length is the, length is the same. But parallel means it's parallel. Yeah? The, the, the gradient, I don't want to use the word gradient. Later on, uh, you will we will learn more about Okay, all right. 
Uh, next, let's look at what is transversal line. A transversal line is a line that crosses at least two other lines. Okay, let's uh, see how does it look like. Okay, when it crosses two non-parallel lines, so these are non-parallel lines. So the red line is called is called transversal line. It can also crosses two parallel lines. Okay, like this. These are two parallel lines. And this can be the red line is the transversal line. And it can be uh, it can cross more than uh, more than two lines, maybe three or maybe four. So that is the transverse line. The red color is the transversal lines. Uh, it when it's only two lines uh, intersect each other, we just call it intersection, yeah? intersect line. Uh, not transversal line. Transversal line must cross at least two, two lines. Okay. All right. Now, uh, let's test your understanding. Let's classify whether the pairs of lines are parallel, intersecting or perpendicular lines. Maybe uh, before you proceed this video, you should pause and think a moment of uh, what are the type of lines given on the screen. After that, you can continue the video and check your answers. All right, the first one. Uh, for A, it is intersecting lines. For B, we call it parallel lines. And for C, is perpendicular line and for D they are parallel lines for E is perpendicular lines and for F intersecting lines and for G is parallel lines Okay, let's try another set of questions. For each of the following diagrams, determine if the line labeled as RS is a transversal line or not, and justify your answer or give reason. Why do you say is yes or no? Okay, look at uh, A. What do you think? Is it R is RS a transversal line or not? Okay, the answer is yes. RS is a transversal line because it crosses two non-parallel lines. Okay, what about B? We have parallel lines and two non-parallel lines, but identify where is RS. RS crosses the two non-parallel lines. So RS is the uh, transversal line. Okay. For question C, what do you think? Is it a transversal line? No, it is not a transversal line because RS only crosses one straight line. Okay, that's all about parallel lines, intersecting lines, perpendicular lines, and transversal lines. So let's learn maths with me. Don't forget to subscribe. See you again next time. Bye-bye.